Basically, I'm going into the archaeology, which goes into prehistory, where history is written down in this area of the local people along this river and how did they live, and using the local resources. And in this case, this is one of the local. This would be like one of the grasses in the area. Of course, uh, this wouldn't be yellow plastic back then. Their plastic would be more like sinew, as we learned from the other group over here. Uh, uh, of course, sisal and uh, some of the other Indian hemp, that type of thing, they would tie their mats together. Uh, the historical Indians, a lot of the Ojibwe used mats for their shelters uh, before uh, regular buildings came into function. And some still do just for the aestheticness of it. And I do for the aestheticness of it. As a member of the Kent Environmental Council, we stood here 40 years ago with this in mind, that the river would become the focus of the community, would become an asset, and would be kept clean because people felt they had a possession and a, and a, and a responsibility to keep it clean because it's a wonderful asset to the community.